A milliameter or call it a galvanometer is a very sensitive instrument that is used to measure very small values of current in milliamps. Because the galvanometer or call it a milliameter is a very sensitive instrument, it cannot measure heavy currents. In order to convert a galvanometer or a milliameter into an ammeter, a very low resistance shunt is connected in parallel with the galvanometer or milliameter in this case. In this session, I'll illustrate how a galvanometer is converted into an ammeter using worked examples coming up. Now, a shunt is a manganine resistor or virtually known resistance. Why is it called a shunt? Well, because it provides a diversion of current. Actually, according to the dictionary, um, to shunt is to provide an electric current with a conductor joining two points of a circuit through which more or less of the current may be diverted. And in this case, if you look at this shunt, when this current, capital I, is coming in, when it reaches that point, it is diverted. Some of it goes through the galvanometer and the excess current goes through the shunt. And the two will combine at that junction and they will continue throughout the circuit. We'll dive straight in and do a worked example to illustrate this further. So in this example, we are being required to convert a galvanometer or milliameter into an ammeter. And the question reads that a galvanometer has a resistance of 5 ohms and the range of values of 0 to 20 milliamperes. Now when they say 0 to 40 milliamperes, it means that this galvanometer has, it can accommodate up to a maximum of 40 milliamperes of current. So the question is that find the resistance of the resistor. And in this case, of course, the resistor we are talking about is the shunt. First, find the resistance of the resistor, which must be connected in parallel with the galvanometer if a maximum current of 10 amperes is to be measured. So let's summarize this question diagrammatically. So we're having this as that. We're having a galvanometer right there. The question says that it has a resistance of 5 ohms. So it means that the resistance of this is 5 ohms. And the maximum amount of current it can accommodate is 40 milliamperes. So it's 4 times 10 to the power negative 3 amperes. Now, um, we need to find the resistance of the shunt or the resistor which must be connected in parallel with the galvanometer. So we're supposed to connect this in parallel to a certain shunt whose resistance we're supposed to find. And what's the condition? If a maximum current of 10 amperes is to be measured, so meaning that if we're having in a maximum of 10 amperes coming in, when it comes and it reaches this joint, we are going to have some current going through the milliampere and some of it coming here. Now, the amount of current that will be proceeding up to here, remember, according to the question, this thing can only take up to 40 milliampere. So it means the amount of current going in here is going to be 40 times 10 to the power negative 3 amperes that's the maximum amount of current that it can take so it means that if 40 times 10 to the power negative 3 milliamperes are going through here the balance is going to come down here now what's that balance the amount of current coming in into this junction is going to be equal to the amount of current going that way and the amount of current coming this way so to get this this is the current going through the shunt this is the current going through the galvanometer this is the total amount of current i so we know that the total amount of current I is going to be equal to the current going through the galvanometer plus the current going through the shunt. This is 10 amperes is going to be equal to 40 times 10 to the power negative 3. This is the current going through the galvanometer plus the current going through the shunt which we want. So when we make I as the subject of the formula, we shall end up with 9.6 amperes so 9.6 amperes is the amount of current going through here so we know the current going through here we do not know the resistance yet that is what we want but we know that when we have two components that are in parallel with each other the potential difference across here is the same as the potential difference across there so that is what we are going to use in this case we know that the potential difference across the galvanometer is going to be equal to the potential difference across the shunt or the resistor that we are looking for and you know the potential difference v is going to be equal to i times r 
So we know that the V, the potential difference across the galvanometer is equal to the current going through the galvanometer. Multiply that by the resistance of the galvanometer. It's going to give us the potential difference across this shunt, which is the current going through the shunt. Multiply that by the resistor of the shunt, and it is the resistor of the shunt that we are looking for. So it's a matter of making RS the subject of the formula, and in this case, um, the current going through the galvanometer is 40 times 10 to the power negative 3. Multiply that by the resistance of the galvanometer, which is 5 ohms. It's going to give us the current going through the shunt, which we got here as 9.6. Multiply that by the resistance which we are looking for RS. Now when we make RS the subject of the formula here, we shall get 0 0.208 ohms. So it means that answers our question. They are telling us that find the resistance of the shunt which must be connected in parallel. So we connect that resistance and we have called that's the resistance of the shunt that is required a moving coil meter has a resistance of 10 ohms and is fully deflated when a current of 3 milliamperes flows through it suppose the current of 15 amperes is to be measured find the resistance of the shunt required we are going to do this number using the very same approach that we did before we could try it out let me know the answers you get in the description in the comments below this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.